Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Divan and welcome to skyde.com. Topic of the lecture today is systemic mycosis. In this topic we're going to talk about what systemic mycosis is. We're going to talk about different subcategories of opportunistic fungal infections, their clinical manifestations, and then we're going to talk about different skin manifestation and superficial cutaneous involvement of the fungal origin and their modalities and diagnostic modalities and their treatments. So first of all, we're going to start with opportunistic fungal infections. What are opportunistic fungal infections? When do they strike? And what are their basic categories? What are their subcategories that are basically involved in causing this pathology? Next on, we're going to talk about each and every one of them individually. We're going to talk about the etiologies. We're going to talk about the epidemiologies. We're going to talk about their pathogenesis. How do they cause this pathology? In what manner? Uh, the clinical manifestations come through then we're going to talk about their diagnostic modalities then we're going to talk about their uh, treatment options afterwards but doing all that we'll keep in mind that those patients which are suffering from immunocompromised state or in contact with the, um, some kind of fungus are more prone of getting this pathology or disease next time we're going to talk about skidosporiosis we're going to talk about its etiology epidemiology its pathogenesis and we're going to talk about how uh, the immune immunocompromised patients in this uh, state in this pathology get brain abscesses next on we're going to talk about trichosporonosis we're going to talk about where it is found where does this pathogen come from we're going to talk about these water contaminations these soil contaminations these uh, plant contaminations then we're going to talk about how it can infect from where it can cause this infection either it's pulmonary system or IV system or gastrointestinal system and we're going to talk about which people are at risk we talked about uh, we'll talk about what patients are at a higher risk of getting this disease either they are uh, immunocompromised patients or taking steroid therapies or going through malignancies or taking immunosuppressive drugs we're going to talk about all of them next on we're going to talk about superficial cutaneous lesions the what are superficial, superficial cutaneous lesions? why they're called superficial cutaneous lesions? what layer of the skin is involved in them, we're going to talk about yeast infection and dermatophyte infection. Next one we're going to talk about yeast infection that what kind of yeast affects the superficial cutaneous layers, we're going to talk about how it transforms to mold state, we're going to talk about which part of your body is more prone of getting this yeast infection. Next time we're going to talk about dermatophyte infection or mold infection. We're going to talk about its etiology, its epidemiology. We're going to talk about how it goes from person to person contact. What are fomites and what are their roles in causing this pathology? Why a person who comes in contact with soil has more uh, chances of getting this pathology? And how person to animal contact happens? So for watching this complete lecture and a variety of lectures which vary from anatomy, physiology, pathology, microbiology, uh, leading to medicine and uh, surgery, there are thousands of lectures. Please subscribe to skyla.com. It also has a free trial for you so you can get accommodated with it. So thank you for watching skyla.com.